OmniSend tutorial for beginners, how to send emails using OmniSend in 2021. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how you can use OmniSend as your email marketing service and how you can manage all of your email needs using OmniSend. So let's get started. First off, we are on OmniSend.com. This is their homepage. And over here, we're just going to enter our email and then we're going to click on start for free. And we are now going to get registered on OmniSend. So let's sign up with our email. You're going to enter any kind of password that you like. And then if you are currently using any other email marketing software, you can enter that. And if you are hosting your online store, then you can enter what platform you are using. So let's say I'm using Wix or let's say I actually have a store on Etsy, but I don't think I can link that over here. I am going to agree with their terms of condition and I'm going to click on sign up. Okay, so now I have verified my email and I have been logged into my account. You can see over here, this is going to be your basic dashboard. Over at the top, you have your header bar, which has all of your tools like your campaigns. Then you have automations, then you have forms, then you have your market audience. So the people that you are sending your emails to, and then you have your general reports and analytics over here. So starting off with your dashboard, you're going to get started with OmniSend by creating your first campaign. Now, it's very easy to start campaigns on OmniSend and you don't need to be worried at all that you're not used to creating emails or you haven't ever done this before, then that you're not going to be able to do this because OmniSend is a platform that is easily accessible by all users. What you're going to do is first off, you're going to add your audience. So if you already have a email contact list, you can add that. Or if you don't have any, you can just add a subscription form on your website. And anyone that subscribes to your website from that subscription form, their email is automatically going to be added into your audience list. Now, if we take a look over here, we don't have any contact. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my own email add a single contact just to show you guys how it's going to look like once I start sending email. So I added my own email. Obviously you're going to import or add your own contacts to add your contacts. You click on this button at the top, right? Then you have four options to import contacts. So first off you have a add single contact. If you want to manually add any contact information, you can do that. Then you have your paste contact details. So if you have a CSV file or a TXT file, you can import that here as well. Then you have a general file import, and then you can also use MailChimp data import tools. So if you were already using MailChimp as your email marketing provider previously, you can import your data from there as well. Now I am going to start by creating my first campaign. I'm going to click on campaign. And on the top right, you can see just where the audience button was, the add contact button was. I'm going to click on new campaign over here. And then there are four basic campaign styles. So first off, you have a general email. Then you have a subject A-B test where you can test different subject lines and sender names to find out which one works better. So you're going to send an email with the same content with different names and different subject lines to see what kind of names and subject lines people prefer to click on. Then you also have a email A-B tester, which is going to allow you to send two different versions of a single email to see which one is going to be marked on the top and which one is going to end up in the spam folder. Then you also have SMS marketing campaigns, but this is a feature limited to paid versions of OmniSend. And then you have push notifications as well. So if anyone subscribes to your form on your website, you can instantly know that some people have been added to your uh, marketing list. Now we're going to start off by creating our email and we're going to just click on create email over here. Now you can see over here that the safe sending volume is 100 emails per day. So if you send over that limit, you're probably going to be marked as spam. Now, first off, you're going to write your subject line. And the very great feature about OmniSend is that on the right side, you get an inbox preview of how everything is going to look like. So let's say we're doing a abandoned cart email. So you forgot something in your cart. And then you are going to add your sender's name. So whatever name you want to use, let's just say I want to use Jane from Cooking Studio. Let's just go with Jane. 
and then you can set your email list so if you have a couple of different business emails you can add any one of these to use to send your emails make sure that this is actually a business email or an email that you have dedicated to your business because this is the email that people are often going to reply to and this is also going to be the email that people are going to associate with your brand. So make sure it's not just your own personal email, it's something for the business. Now, after that, you are going to add your pre-header text. And this is the optional text, but I would suggest that you add it. And this will give the customer a little boost of, you know, a personal feel that is going to be associated with this text because it's going to appear in their inbox preview over here at the uh, right side and they're going to see this and they're actually going to feel like someone else wrote this for them instead of it being an automated email now you can add a email campaign name this is just for your own categorization i'm going to skip this for now you're going to select your language then you are going to just click on next step now you can either use the new email builder provided by omnisend or you can use a classic builder the classic builder is just going to give you empty blocks and spaces to enter information in and it does provide you with quite a few different kinds of empty blocks or builders and you can just add your information over there but if you use the new email builder you're going to get a lot more out of it because it's going to save you a lot of time as well as make your emails look professional so i would suggest just go with the email builder if you don't like their templates or don't like the way that their emails look and you think they are overdone maybe you want to keep it simple then go for the classic builder i'm going to use the new email builder and now you can see there are quite a few templates over here that you can use. There are even simpler templates that you can opt for. There are some image templates. And let's just say I want to send this kind of email because I'm going to basically provide them with a discount code. And I'm going to use this very simple yet effective email. So first off, you're going to add your logo if you have any for your website. I'm going to delete this block and I'm just going to enter a text. Whatever your website name is, you're going to add that to the top. So um, scrunchies by Sarah. It's one of my websites and I'm just going to place it at the center. I'm going to make this text bold. And if you have a logo, definitely do add it. You're just going to click on this add block button and you're going to click on image and you can add the image of your logo over here. I don't have a logo yet, so I'm just going to add this text. After that, you're going to add your first basic heading text. So you're going to uh, give the customer a feel that they are being personally contacted. So hey dash 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 or hey dot 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 so you want to leave some spaces empty and save this as a template and then you can start sending it each time for with a different name you can also later on automate this function to autofill names so hey you missed something in your cart and then you're going to add a image of your product or your website over here so i'm just going to go and my downloads and see if I have any scrunchy images right now. Oh god, I don't have any images related to this, so I'm going to delete this image. But I would suggest that you do add an image if you want, and then you are just going to add your little text. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this text and I'm going to add hey, buy it now before the sale runs sale ends oh buy it now before it's sold out we have you covered with a 10 percent discount coupon and then you can add a discount using a block or you can just provide them with a one-time use code depending on how you have your website set up you can do that and obviously you're going to add your discount code over here whatever it might be for your website that just depends on your website provider what kind of codes they are going to give you and then you're just going to have this shop now button once you do that you can do a test uh, sending test on this email but i'm just going to skip this and go on to the next step and now i'm going to send this to my one and only subscriber that is myself now you can schedule this as well but i'm going to send this now so it takes a couple of seconds to be sent just wait patiently until that happens and that's it your email has been sent and 
I am going to open up my Gmail to see if my email has been delivered. But in the meanwhile, I'm going to give you guys a quick comparison of the price plans here on OmniSend as well. Now on the free version of OmniSend, you can send emails to up to 250 people and you can send 500 emails monthly. You also get 60 international SMSs and 500 web pushing advertisement. Now you will get professional looking email templates, automations, workflows, pop-up, sign-up forms, uh, customer analytics, sales and performance reports as well. You also get A-B testing. And all of this is a lot more than what MailChimp provides. But the good thing about MailChimp is that they have more contact limits. So you can add more contacts to your emails and you can send emails to up to 2000 people. And that is why most people use MailChimp instead of OmniSend. But I feel like OmniSend is packed with more features and has better usability. Now on their general standard, email plan you have $16 per month where you can reach up to 500 contacts you can send 6,000 emails per month you get 60 international sms's you get unlimited web pushing you also get customer success manager and you have a 24 7 chat and live support overall omnisend is a very good email marketing service and i would definitely suggest that you check it out and you can see over here in my Gmail account, I have my email that I sent myself and this is what it looks like, Scrunchies by Serge. Uh, this is, we had created it and it's, it looks very good. It's generally a good looking email and I hope you guys are now able to create emails like this for your own businesses and I will catch you guys in the next video.